When the Berlin Wall came down on the 9th of November 1989, few wanted to keep fragments of the vast concrete barrier which had divided the city since 1961. But with the passing of time, all that has changed. Large chunks of the structure, which stretched 160 kilometres, can be found at the UN in New York, the Imperial War Museum in London, and even in the business district of Paris. The museum in Washington is home to a section of the wall almost four metres in length and an observation tower. It teaches such a clear and um, fast lesson that um, it's an invaluable tool here at the museum. Not far from Berlin in Telto, Elmer Prost has collected hundreds of fragments of the wall. Collectors can buy pieces for 500 euros with the money going towards new artistic projects. I think everyone has their own memories of the fall of the Berlin Wall. Each has his own story, and we're all 25 years older. There are families who've gotten to know one another, but there are also those whose world collapsed. It's very different, and it's all expressed on the wall. French artist Thierry Noir works with Elmer and has been painting sections of the wall since 1982. It really is the paradox of the wall. Before we painted it to bring it down, now we paint the wall to keep it as a tribute to the newfound freedom in Europe. As the world marks a quarter century since the fall of the Berlin Wall, these physical pieces of history are more valuable than ever.